Hi friends, in today's video we are going to be doing a snuffle mat for your dog to help with enrichment or if they are fast eaters, um, this will help to slow them down as long as they're eating some dry food. Okay, so we're first gonna start with a rug canvas and you're just gonna use a little bit of square. I did a four by four section um, and then I just cut off the excess that was already fraying a little bit. And then we're also going to use two colors of fleece. Now I did the yellow and the blue because that is what dogs can see best. Um, and I just did about two inch strips for both colors. And then once I've got quite a few of those um, cut, um, and then I'm going to cut them into fourths. So they are about six or seven inches across and two inches wide. And then once I've got all of those and the mat or the canvas, we're going to then insert each of these pieces um, or those strips of the snuggle fleece into this canvas. Um, and then I just would do insert into one and then skip one and insert into the next one. So each little fleece will take up about three of those little squares. And then once I did the one color, I then switched to the other color and did one more section over so they weren't touching right next to each other. And then just inserted those. And this is going to be a little time consuming. So I either watched a movie with this or I, um, as you can see right here, did it on a road trip. Just whenever you had an extra little bit of free time, it was pretty simple and easy to do. And then once the final thing is done, I just tested mine out with my dog and I inserted some of his dry food and then he was able to sniff them out and get the food. And moving right along to the extra pieces for the mat, we are going to be making some squares or cutting out some squares from the fleece to make this design right here um, for the mat. And I did five individual squares um, so that they can lap over each other so that food can go in the bottom of them and on in between the flaps. Then we are also going to cut some circles to make these um, little pie looking um, sections of the snuffle mat. We're going to do two of those and then I did two just plain squares um, but you could do them all circles or all squares And then I wanted to have a woven section in the snuffle mat. So I did two inch sections um, of this fleece again and of each color. Um, and then we're going to weave them together here in a minute. And then we're going to use another section of fleece to lay all of our pieces down that we just cut from the other two colors and we're going to sew everything down so for this we're going to do a little wrap around and then these are little poles um, they're just extra little fabric pieces that i had um, so we're just going to do those and then also the weaving is going to be sewed all the way around the edges and also the circles and the squares are going to be sewn around the edges like shown right here and again the weaving it's going to be sewn by the edges, making sure that we get each little um, strip sewn down. 
And then once we've got all those, we can uh, cut off any excess that we had, trying not to cut the very bottom fleece layer. And then again with this one, we're just going to do around these edges of just the middle. And then this one's probably the toughest one, just because you've got to hold back all of those little pieces um, from the canvas that we uh, did, and then just sew the canvas to the bottom fleece la layer. And then I'm adding some batting, but to be honest, I really wish I would have added the batting before I sewed everything down so that it wouldn't have moved when I go to wash this because right now it moves and I kind of have to um, get my hand in there and push it all around to make sure it gets flat again. So I do recommend putting the batting in then sewing. And I did not mention before but this bottom layer is one yard of fabric so with that one yard um, it makes the perfect size for the whole bottom to be able to insert this um, just because we will be able to flip it over and then sew around the edges making this little pocket for the batting to go inside and then once we've got that batting inserted in exactly where we want it we can sew up the edges or if you do it the right way, then you can go through and sew everything down on top of it and then sew up the edges. And then once you've got all the batting in and it's all good and everything is sewed down, you can go in and make your little cuts. So for this, you're gonna do it for both the circles and the squares. You're going to kind of pinch up so you do not get that bat the bottom, but then you're just going to cut the top layer and I think they turned out looking like pies, so that's why I call them pies. But then we're all done, and you can start by inserting your food into every little section, and so that your little dog can have some enrichment time. And that's basically it for this video um, tutorial, but if you wanna go ahead and stick around, that would be awesome. But you can also just watch my little pupper um, enjoy his little enrichment toy. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day, bye.